Right, this is going to be a very brief video on the fuel table, what it is, how it works, and how, how you get feedback from the lambda sensor in the exhaust, your air fuel ratio. Um, bear in mind, I haven't driven the car this morning, so my tables are all blank. I erased them prior to this video, just again as a demo. Um, before doing this, make sure your engine is able to run. Um, refer to the two videos posted by CB Performance a while back. Um, my purpose of this video is to follow up on their videos because there is no more further information. There is no detailing on the programming. And this is all information I wanted to know prior to actually buying the system. So bear with me. Let's see if we can make this usable. Um, I have emailed Market CV and he says my methods are on the right track. How good or bad, don't know yet, but we are making progress. The car is running better each time I've gone through this process. All right, first thing, bring up the fuel table. You got edit, fuel table, function key two. That brings up a table. Currently, there are no cells color coded. There's a key down here called color chart. If my camera will focus. All right, click on that. It brings up air fuel ratios based upon color. Um, what I'm going to do is start the engine and demonstrate how the how the color gets thrown on onto the screen so you can see what's actually happening. Um, starting up. Okay, engine's running. You'll see as it runs, the tabs that it runs in are lighting up in yellow. It's a bright yellow, so we go across. Bright yellow is 13 to 13.5. There we go, a little bit better. If I touch the throttle and change the RPM, you'll see more of them light up. Okay. So in this instance, we've, we've gone into the browns. So again, browns, a little bit on the red side. The car is ice cold, oil temperature is cold, therefore it's reading cold and the enrichment tables are up. Um, gonna switch this off. Now, if I had just been for a run, I would have various various items lit. Like for instance, this five two hundred. If I compare that brown to there, eleven and a half to twelve. For this situation, it's perfect. Now, if I wanted to change that, you click on there. Okay, double click in this case. It was 5200, so I can change it to 5100. And then click on send. And it sends it to the ECU. Okay, currently, my, currently I'm disconnected, so it's actually done nothing. I'm going to reconnect. Um, as far as cold start goes, let's see if I can find this. I think it's under... Ah, busy going through this connection. Fuel table, here we go. It's back, setup, main setup. Um, engine setup, fuel prime, cranking after start, coolant enrichment. There, so you can see temperatures low, those are Fahrenheit temperatures, 50, 100, 130 Fahrenheit, and then percentage enrichment. Okay, I'm going to close this. Uh, fuel table comes back up again. And then after you've driven, you can see what, what's happened. And you can make adjustments accordingly. Alright, thanks guys.